welcome to The Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm working on a scrapbook layout, and I'm going to call it Puppy Love, and it's about when I first get my puppy that I have now. So first of all, I'm starting with some mixed media paper, and I'm going to be using this Distress Mica Stain. It's the first time I've used it, and this color is called Cocktail Party. It's supposed to be a bright pink, but it does look very red. Excuse me for the band-aid I'm wearing, but my hands are very chapped in. It's like I had a paper cut. Although, I think on this layout, if I got blood on it, you would never know. Now I'm switching to another color, which is called Tart Cranberry, and it's their deep red color. Now with these, you have to shake them for a long time, and you should shake till all the mica powder is kind of mixed throughout, and it shouldn't be on the bottom. And that's supposed to help keep them from clogging. And so I've never used them, so I don't know if that's true or not. But the other thing they recommend is that you rinse it off after you use it so that the um, nozzle doesn't get clogged. I'm adding some more of the cocktail party. And actually, I add some more after I turned off my camera because I didn't like it looking so spotty. So I added more. Now, the other thing about these mica sprays are they are seasonal so they come out for Halloween and Christmas, so you may not be able to find them right now. For this layout, I'm using some of my scrapbooking supplies as well as my card making supplies. So I use some dies from Lawn Fawn that I usually use for cards to cut out a bunch of hearts. And for this largest heart, I'm just using a stencil, I think it's from Creative Memories, to draw on some lines. And I'm just using a micro pen that's a cranberry color to draw my lines. And I like doing that because I have trouble writing if I don't have lines to write on. Otherwise, it's very messy. I'm doing this hop along with some others, and it's called Par Your Way Into Our Heart. And it's done once a month, and we basically scrapbook our pets. And this is put on by Miranda Weber. So I'll have a link to all the other people participating in the hop in the description below. Then I'm just using my ink blender to go around the edges of my heart with some distress ink and this is called barn door is the color and then I cut out some other hearts that I'll be using to decorate my photo page so I'm going around those also with the then I'm just using my black micro pen to do my journaling and I'm just saying how we drove to Memphis Tennessee on Friday night and then we drove from there to Mississippi, which is where the dog breeder was, to pick up Vicky. And we went there on a Friday, Saturday night because I wasn't working that weekend. And my sister took off that Friday so we can go Friday instead of trying to drive down and back in one day. Which is great because then we stopped and had barbecue and enjoyed the puppy all the way back home. Then I'm just gluing that to another heart that I cut out of a cranberry colored cardstock. And I used a Lawn Fawn die that does like kind of a lacy border. And that makes it kind of look like a doily. Next, I'm taking my hearts and stamping them with some dog sentiments and dog shapes that I have from different stamp sets. One's from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I'll put all the products that I'm using in the description below so you can see what those are. And then I'm going to glue the white hearts onto some buffalo plaid that I cut out once again with those scalloped harp dies from Lawn Fine. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe Glue to glue all of my hearts together and I also will use that on my scrapbook layout. I like that adhesive because it works really well and it kind of goes on thin if you want it to go on thin and also it is acid free. Next, I'm going to put on my sentiment. I'm just using some alphabet stickers, and I decided to use black. And these, I believe, are from Creative Memories. They're old, so you wouldn't find this style anywhere. And I put on a quilt ruler on my paper just to help me keep them straight. Although I decided I wanted to have my letters go crooked, so I kind of alternate them back and forth. I thought, since it's a puppy layout that I thought something whimsical would be good so I'm just kind of putting my letters on kind of back and forth sideways. I went ahead and trimmed my photos and backed them with some red gingham paper ahead of time 
And now I'm just arranging all my elements on my page and I'll glue those down with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. And when we got Vicky, we had just had to put our previous dog down due to cancer, although she was 15, so she had lived a full life. And we'd put her down right after Christmas, so it was the beginning of January. So we really missed our dog, so we started looking for another dog. And then this was right before the pandemic, so it was in February. So there was a possibility of things being shut down. So, of course, we didn't think it would go to the extreme that it had because, of course, there had never been a pandemic in the U.S. in my lifetime. So anyway, um, we had found a dog online, and so I had a weekend off, so we drove down and picked her up. And after that, and everything getting shut down, we were so glad that we got her because after things got shut down, we probably wouldn't have been able to drive anywhere and get her. And also, she was a company to all of us at the time. And also, we lost my dad during that time. The first, about, I think the first month after we got Vicky, we had to take him to the hospital. And that was non-COVID related. He had had a stroke 15 years prior to that. And his health had just deteriorated. He got, um, actually, the flu. But it was mostly because of his stroke that he passed on. So having a puppy at home for us during COVID and also for my mom. So that was a great relief to her. And one of the things that we picked out this dog, we've always had Schnauzers. And as we were looking through pictures of Schnauzers, we saw they also came in um, spots. And one time I was showing cause her pictures because we were trying to decide what kind of dog to get. She saw a picture of a spotted Schnauzer, and she said, Oh, Schnooky! And that was the dog she had had when she was a little girl. So that kind of sealed the deal. We were going to get a dog like that. So it actually turned out perfect that she became a really good companion to my mom, and she follows my mom around all the time. So she might be my dog, but she's really my mom's dog. <laughs> As a final embellishment, I'm just adding these, I guess you call them jewels. They're heart-shaped and they're flat-backed. And I like to add things like these with glossy accents because it dries clear and it's very strong, so it'll hold them on very well. I'll put a list of all the products that I'm using, including these hearts, in the description below. Some of these will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to use, but I do get a small commission from any sales that the links generate. And that helps support my website. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.